I'm Mike Kilburn. And I'm Renee Joseph. And coming up on today's show, it is our monthly Business Around Town episode. Each month, we look around the Columbus area and take you to some great area businesses. So stay with us. We have a great show in store today. Experience farm fresh goodness at Utsi's Farm Market. Indulge in their wide selection of delectable meats, cheeses, and seasonal produce. And the first corn of the season is out of the ground, and Greg says it's as sweet as he's ever seen. It feels like summer. We're finally picking our own corn. Uh, crop is great this year. It's, it's sweet as can be. Probably the sweetest corn we've ever grown, especially this early in the season. We're about two weeks in. But yeah, it's just been great. What do you, what do you attribute to the quality of the corn this year? You know, last time we talked about the dry stretch we were in, but we've had rain every week now, and that really contributes to the sweetness and how it grows and nice big ears and everything. So what about other produce? How are we doing in terms of that now with the weather? Well, everything in Ohio, of course, is coming in. Fresh green beans and a cabbage from Urbana. We've got tomatoes from Southern Ohio, onions, peppers, cukes, zucchini, all that summer homegrown produce is here now, finally. And peach crop is good, finally again, out of, coming out of Pennsylvania, peach has been great from there. How are we doing prices? Uh, prices have kind of stabilized. Of course, fresh produce, you got to get rid of it, so the price, it has to be priced right. So we haven't seen those huge spikes. And now we take the shipping out of it because we're picking it up ourselves or it's coming locally. So Greg, I understand you got some tips for how to prepare the corn. Yeah, the best way to do it, you know, when you're here, pick it out, feel a nice firm end on the tip, throw it in the microwave just like this. Uh, put it in three minutes in a year, halfway through, flip it over. And when you're done, either let it in there and let it cool or peel it back and let it cool. It's going to be steaming hot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, because you don't want to burn your mouth. Yeah, but then add your butter and salt and what a great treat. Yeah, I, I absolutely love sweet corn. I really do. So are you still doing any hiring or is that done? Yeah, we're still hiring. Of course, we've had a few we hired that saw it on the show last time. We're looking for a few more yet. And I just want to say, man, we've got a great staff right now. They're getting along great. They're serving the customers and our customers in the last month have just exploded. We have a lot of new people here and we thank our customers for their patience and of course shopping here locally. Check us out online of course eatsfarmarket.com. Set the mood with scents on purpose. Handcrafted candles made with love and passion for scents. Light up your space with their custom blended long-lasting vegetable wax candles proudly made in the heart of Ohio. So Sense of Purpose actually started right before COVID, um, literally on the line of COVID. Um, we were getting hit with the shutdowns, things like that, and I needed something to do. And I love candles, Candleholic. And then I had a friend that was making candles down in Texas, and I've always wanted to make candles. So that's how that came about. I was home, needed something extra to do, needed a little extra cash, and it took off from there. Three years, here we are. So that's what it was. It started off as the candle making, and we've moved into so much more. We have other products as well. We do have the product making get togethers. We call them get togethers because we want to be different. They're actually parties, but they're get togethers with your coworkers, your family, your friends. We have like the candle making where you can come in, you can do that. We have other product making that you can do. Our most fun and exciting one, which is what we just introduced, is our body butter making parties. We wanted to do something different. Candle making has been going on, so we wanted to switch it up a little bit. So that's where you come in, have fun with your friends, and you get to pick your own carrier oil own scents you can color um, do whatever you want to do with your body butter we have one more event on August 27th that's coming up on Mount Vernon. Then we're just gonna be basically transitioning into our storefront, still trying to focus more on our storefront. We did all the pop-ups, the events, and wine fest and different things, but we wanna focus more on our store. And then we're gonna introduce other vendors into our store as well to help them get their business up off the ground. We're gonna be like a business incubator. Um, that way you'll have a variety of vendors that will be in our store as well. You can actually come in 1252 East Main Street or sensualonpurpose.com. Give us a call 614-999-0608. Ty Woods has been a regular on the show with Landscaping 365. Ty always has great advice for getting that lawn looking great for the summer season. Yeah, Ty talks about the one-stop approach to landscaping. 
Now's the time to start to get your list together on what kind of plants you want to use to transform your landscape. If you're getting tired of that old landscape, rejuvenate it with installing new plants, trees, shrubs, and things. It's almost back to school time. It's what I call back to cool because we're getting back to the cool weather, the cool temperatures, and that's going to allow your plants to get started before the winter months come in. Then when spring rolls around, they'll already be established and be off and running. Most people think because we're halfway through summer that this is the time to take your foot off the gas. But this is truly the second spring, an opportunity for you to do all of those kind of things, whether it's an outdoor living space or using new plants like I just mentioned before. This is the perfect time to start to have the lawn and yard that you want next year. Well, your lawn is literally taking a beating right now from the constant mowing, the pounding rain, and all the other things that's going on. So you should start to think about aerating and then seeding because, like I said, this is the time to start to rejuvenate your lawn and your garden. So seeding, aerating to alleviate some of that compaction that's occurred, and then you'll have a great lawn by the end of the season. Well, and that's the benefit of working with a company like mine is that you can hire us for something as mundane as lawn mowing. However, then you have a master gardener on speed dial that can handle whatever your yard might throw at you, whether it be designing that patio or installing new plants and shrubs. Well, you would already have that taken care of. You should visit the website if you want to learn more information, landscaping365.com. Otherwise, give us a call, give me a text, 614-260-8774. I'll take the time to personally talk to everyone, and then we'll move forward from there. Coming up, are you curious about the Amish lifestyle? We take you to a tour that can answer all your curiosity about the Amish community. Would you like your business to make an appearance on an upcoming episode of Out and About Columbus? Send your contact information to info at outandaboutcolumbus.com to learn more. Calling all golf enthusiasts. Experience the thrill of the only par six in Ohio at Black Diamond Golf Course. Yeah, with its unique layout and challenging terrain, it's a golfer's dream come true. Well, Jeff, good to have Black Diamond on the show. Well, thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about the golf course. We're in Holmes County. Um, it's 200 acres, uh, 150 feet of elevation, 18 holes, practice facility, two rental houses on it. We even have the Amish golfing here. So, I mean, just everybody that's a golfer, this is where they come. <laughs> so what have you seen happen to golf since the COVID? It's helped golf uh, immensely. Newer people, younger people. And it's been good for the golf industry. But when's your busy times out here at Black Diamond? Usually the weekends. That, that's our time here. It's, during the week, it's slow, and you have no problem getting on here. So tell us a little bit about your clubhouse. Uh, we serve food. We have a snack bar, drinks, golf balls, shirts, hats. What about uh, beer and that kind of stuff? Can you drink inside, or do you have to bring it? No, we have no alcohol here, but we allow it here. Bring your own. You're welcome to do that. So does a lot of guys come over here and golf while... The missus is uh, in town shopping? Some do. More would be better. We prefer men to quit shopping, come golfing, but yes, yes, they do. They don't know you're here. You know, that, <laughs> yeah. Now they know there's a golf course here. They take the clubs and say, uh, let me drop you off. I know. <laughs> Us men need to stick together. <laughs> I just call up the phone number, talk to any of the staff here. It's uh, 330-674-6110. BlackDiamondGolfCourse.com. Discover a world of stories at Kicks Mix Books, your go-to destination for new and used books in all genres. Dive into captivating tales and explore new releases in their charming bookstore located in downtown Newark's Canal District. Our store has been here almost 10 years now, and we are a mix of used and new books. Uh, we have all genres, kids' books, sci-fi, fantasy, horror, general fiction, historical fiction. We have reference and history, a little bit of everything. And we also have book-related gift items like specialized bookmarks or Harry Potter t-shirts or records. We have CDs, bunches of CDs. We don't like to throw books away, so we repurpose books and we have classes on how to turn books into works of art. Our bookstore is special because we have a true sense of community. And I think that for the most part, people that come in the door, they feel a warm welcome here. We are 
ready to cater to anything that they want, help them find the book that they're looking for, order that book that, that they can't find in our store. We have community classes. We partner with a lot of other businesses for special events in the store. We just pride ourselves on being that all-inclusive community bookstore. This month in July, we've got a special event going on for the whole month of July. And actually, it is a Where's Waldo shop local thing going on this month. We have partnered with 25 other businesses in downtown Newark. And each one of them is hiding a Waldo. So it's a free family event. You can stop by our store and pick this up. We're gonna have a drawing at the end of this month. We're gonna draw 30 prize winners, and we've got some really great prizes donated from not only our store, but some of the other businesses too. You can go to our website, which is kicksmixbookstore.com. Seth Lucas is a teenage racing sensation from Powell who made his sports car debut in 2020. So we sat down with Seth to talk about his career to this point. So when I was younger, actually before I was born, my dad was involved in racing. So he's always been involved. He did, he raced trophy trucks in the desert, you know, and a couple of Indy Lights teams. So he's always been involved. Um, and then when I was 12, he decided to put me and my siblings in go-karts. And then they kind of fell out of that after a couple of years, but I obviously stayed in it. And that kind of led us to test some different kind of sports cars, decide what route we want to go. And then ended up five years later racing GT3. So we've had a lot of podium finishes uh, this year, pretty much average on podium almost every race. Um, last year we had a, had a good amount of wins um, as well as podium finishes. And then in Dubai in January for the 24 hours of Dubai, we got second. And then at the Indy eight hour last year, we got first. So my school um, on Tangi Liberty High School is very accommodating with me. They kind of gave me all my work before I leave for a race. So that way when I'm at the races, I'm able to work on it then and turn it back in within a couple of days of me being back. So they're very accommodating with me. So we work with a marketing team called AdWorks. Um, so they handle a lot of business stuff, kind of just sponsorships and stuff like that. And then so Motul is my main sponsor. So we are able to pour a lot of oil for them just because of this car. So there's a lot of kind of stuff that AdWorks kind of set up for us also. And AdWorks just, is just really good at setting up business deals. It's at Seth Lucas Racing. Step into the enchanting world of Amish country with Troyer's Amish Tours. Immerse yourself in the rich history, captivating culture, and scenic beauty of the Amish community. Join in an unforgettable journey through picturesque farmlands, visit local artisans, savor delicious Amish foods, and discover the hidden gems that make Amish country truly unique. So tell us a little bit about what makes your tour so unique here in Holmes County. Yeah, you know, um, this is a season seven for us, and it's really developed over the years, just helping people understand the Amish community, Amish culture, Amish history. And so that's the uniqueness is that I define myself all the time by the research I do. This year, we're excited because I just got a new book out last year that came out here at the Heritage Center, and I get my information from there. And it's been really cool because questions that I've had as far as the Amish culture, um, I've actually got answers for those now that I didn't have before. It's really exciting because now I can actually tell people how many groups of Amish we have here, how many families we have here in Holmes County. Uh, being the largest Amish community in the United States, that's pretty important. And also uh, the other part is that we have unique stops. Um, every year I kind of look and add, try to add new stops. This year we have a new quilt shop that we're stopping at uh, that's on the farm. The other unique part is that um, I get to share my family. I grew up, my parents were Amish. Uh, my grandparents were Amish. I am not Amish. I never was, but my oldest two brothers were. The fact that I came from the culture, lived the culture, and then uh, seven years ago came back home after 30 years gone and decided to start this business. And now I can share all those facts of growing up in an Amish culture. I'm kind of a liaison between guests who come in town and the community that lives here. What are people going to see on the tour? They're going to see the reality of the life here. We're in the heart of Amish country right here in Berlin. You're going to see homes, farms. You're going to see farmers. Yesterday, we saw a guy uh, collecting uh, his oats, uh, cutting oats. And so people are able to get right there on the farm and see the action. Well, give us some contact information where we can come and take this great tour. Sure. So uh, you can go online at www.troyersamishtours.com, or you can just call me, 330-600-4948.
After the break, we visit the crown jewel of Ohio's National Road since 1833. This opened as an inn and tavern serving westward travelers. That coming up straight ahead. Are you seeing mold, mildew, or even foundation issues in your basement? CNJ Basement Solutions is Center Ohio's basement repair expert. We had the moldy smell, took some boards off the wall and realized we may have had a little bit of a bigger issue than we thought. So CNJ came in, showed us some great solutions, and saved us thousands and thousands of dollars basically over everybody else. So to save thousands over the other basement companies, contact CNJ Basement Solutions at 614-714-4842 or cnjbasementsolutions.com. Indulge in a tropical delight with premium snack mixes, nuts, seeds, dried fruit, and candies. Yeah, you can elevate your snacking experience today. We learn more from Alicia Bruno. Well, Alicia, good to be back at Tropical Nut and Fruit. Thanks for coming back, Mike. You know, it's almost time for kids to go back to school. Unbelievable. Summer has just went by so fast. And this is this is snack headquarters, right? It is. You know, we're kind of featuring the, the grab and go on this segment because there's a lot of people that are traveling, you know, road trips, hiking still. And we're going to put out a special for back to school because for lunches, packed lunches, and all the different things that go along with protecting of food and single servings. So we're featuring our fistfuls on this segment. Everything that you see featured here in the little buckets are all two for a dollar. And you can mix and match. So you can go confections if you want. You can go a spicy Cajun mix. Well, we want to mention the fact that all this is manufactured right here, right? It is. All the nuts are roasted here. And what people don't really realize either is that we actually make the sesame sticks here from scratch, from water and flour and sesame seeds and the seasoning. It's all done here, extruded. It truly is an on-site manufacturing facility. And, and the neat thing about this is the big box stores have these products just under their name. You just don't know it, right? Correct. Um, there's actually one of the mixes here. The Omega mix is just, it's a really, it's a dried fruit. There's no peanuts in it. And it really does drive millions and millions of bags a year in sales. You know, one of the things that I like to talk about is the value here. It's an incredible value to come here and shop for snacks, whether you're going on trips or the kids or whatever, right? Yeah, because a lot of these items that are featured as some of our other, you know, partners are 99 cents a bag, which is still a great price. But in here, they're two for a dollar because we make the product, we produce it, and it comes right out to the floor. So there's nothing in the middle. There's no shipping. There's no brokerage fees. There's no anything associated. It just goes right from the back right to the floor. You know, that, that's the thing, and you never know what you're going to find here. When you come and look around, you've got everything from craft beer to wine to you name it. Yeah, it's 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 a treasure hunt, and people really do enjoy just walking the store. Tell folks where you're located when you're open. Right off of 270 at 3150 Urban Crest Industrial Drive, Monday through Friday, 9 to 6, and Saturdays from 9 to 3. Hawaii Fluid Art brings people together for a unique experience focused on self-expression. They say, come create something beautiful, whether in a private party, group classes, or one-on-one. -on -one. We visited the downtown location. We're all about the Buckeye State, and we're here in Buckeye Territory, so we figure out what better reason than to open up a location right here in Buckeye Territory. So we want to be able to offer all the OSU students, as well as all the local downtown Columbus people, a place to create. So the downtown location is going to be an expansive vibe. So anyone and everyone can come here, whereas in the more suburban areas, it's more family-oriented, it's date-night-oriented. Here, you want to come in with a group of friends? Come on in. You want to come in after a ball game? Come on in. Here is especially special because we're located right in the short north slash the old north area. So if you want to do a bunch of cool things and create down the street, you can do that. You want to do a little bar hopping, you can do that. You can come here, you can do that as well. Um, I'm not going to say you can bar hop here, but I will say we're a fun environment for you. If you're an OSU student and you come in with your ID, be prepared to be wild. We offer a plethora of incentives. I'm not going to tell you right now. You got to come in to find out. We do have a couple paint and sip competitors down the street, um, and you will notice at first glance when you walk in, um, all of their concepts are 100% geared towards a paint on canvas. Whereas for us, we do some paint on canvas, but we want to do that fluid art concept. But we also do a myriad of other things. I'm not going to say exactly what we do, but what we actually do do here is something quite unique, and we want you to experience that. Bring everybody. Bring mom, grandma, sisters. Bring great grandma, great grandma still wants to come. That This is a fantastic place. So we have lots of jewelry, lots of little things and gifts for mom, but you can create something for mom that's going to be a lasting memory. And that's what we really try to push. So outside of a paint and sip, um, we create something that is wall worthy, meaning that you have something that's going to last on your wall for a very long time. And it's a memory that goes along with that piece of art. Well, you can contact us on the website and book at www.hawaiifluidart.com or you can call us directly at 
221-2115. And we're located here at 2367 North High Street, right off of OSU's campus. Step back in time and savor the flavors of history at Headley Inn and Vineyards. Indulge in their handcrafted wines. Take a tour of the historic inn and experience the charm and elegance of the past. The inn was built in 1833, so it started out as a very famous stopping point on the National Road for travelers heading west. In the early 1920s, they opened it as a restaurant, so it again became famous and turned into a five-star restaurant. When we purchased it in 2015 and turned it into a bed and breakfast and wedding venue. And then we opened the winery last year, Memorial Day in 2022. Uh, so we stopped doing the weddings, uh, but we've continued doing the bed and breakfast. And I think that's one of the unique things about our winery is we do offer a two bedroom suite in the old house in the old part of the inn. And we offer a, uh, it's a full cabin that sits behind the inn. It was built in 1777 and it's updated. It's, you know, it's a beautiful little cottage. So you can rent that, uh, you know, any time of the week, even when the winery is closed or when the winery is open. Currently, we have 11 wines. We, uh, we kind of lean dry, so we have six dry wines, both red and white, uh, and five sweet wines. We really try to focus on creating quality wines. One of the fun aspects of owning a historic building is there are lots of legends that go along with the inn. So once they come into the, the tasting room, they pick up their wine here and then they can go outside and they can either sit in the great room that is out here in the original part of the, uh, the historic inn or we have seating outside for, to, to accommodate about 100 guests. They can enjoy the history whether they come in to sip their wine on the inside of the inn or go outside on the grounds. We've won a, a few awards in our first year. We're only a year and two months old. And these are the only two wines that we have submitted for competition so far, and they both won silver medals. Sure, you can get in touch with us at our website, so headleyinn.com. We're also on Facebook. Uh, we are listed as The Headley Inn on Facebook, or you can call us at 740 487-1446. Coming up, we're taking you to a premier gathering spot east of Columbus. A local treasure for 50 years. Join them for good times, great food, and live music. Those details straight ahead. Experience the essence of Muskingum County at the Barn, your hometown gathering place since 1970. Join them for unforgettable moments, delicious food, and a true taste of community. The barn is the place to go every day there is something going on here. We have live entertainment on Thursday through Sunday. Thursdays and Sundays may be a solo act or Friday and Saturday may be a big band act from bands all over Ohio. We have such a vast menu variety. Uh, you can get everything from one of Ohio's best burgers to incredible wings. Uh, handmade artisan craft pizzas that's been in our area since the 1950s. We have amazing flatbreads, uh, our wraps, and our sandwiches, and you can't forget about our salads. Always an amazing salad down here at the barn. My favorite item is this mobster pizza that's sitting here in front of me. The pizza recipe has been in our area since the 1950s, and, and it's really just an amazing, unique item, amazing flavors, and a lot of great toppings on there. It's really all about the customers and our people that make the barn stand out for the hometown sports teams or the spot to go. It's really the fun place to be. I think from the moment people walk in the door, they're gonna find that the one thing that's different about coming here than anywhere else is our people. Whether it's our amazing kitchen staff, our front of house staff, uh, and even the customers, you're going to find amazing people down here at the barn and it's something you can't find everywhere and anywhere that you go to. Uh, so I would encourage anybody to come down. Uh, it's going to be a unique environment uh, and, and you're going to have a great time when you come here to the barn. This is the spot in Zanesville to watch Cindy Sports. The Buckeyes season is coming up, Whether regardless of what season's coming up, this is the spot. Folks can contact us. Our phone number is 740-455-2276. Uh, you can find us at thebarnzanesville.com. It talks about all of our events and everything. Witten Farm Market at Smith Farm has been building on a tradition of farm, family, and healthy living since 1958. They are especially proud of their sweet corn that they pick fresh daily. Julie told us what to expect at their market on Winchester Pike. Sweet corn is our number one item and we are in full production and bringing lots of sweet corn here to our Smith Farm Market location every day. We pick it fresh every single day out of the field and it's really who we are and what we're known for and it's just the absolute sweetest that you're going to find anywhere. 
our sweet corn, we, we harvest it fresh seven days a week and just harvesting it every single day is really part of the key. And then you wanna eat your corn almost the same day that you purchase it. Because as soon as you harvest it, then the sugar starts turning to starch. And so that's why you always wanna eat it as soon as you buy it. But we have the best varieties and my brothers are really great farmers and we just, we think, drink and eat sweet corn 365 days a year. And that's really the key to what makes um, us special and everything is harvested at the peak of ri ripeness. We're just really excited that we are the farmers and we are the marketers. So we really do everything. So from planting in the field and harvesting and getting it here to our customers customers and you know sharing our love of farming and our love of agriculture with our customers so it's always just fantastic quality when you shop here but you know what we love the most is is that you know family is so important to us we've got a really big family and um, there's nothing better than you know everybody gathering around that dinner table it's just really exciting whether it's my family or your family is is that our sweet corn and tomatoes are bringing everybody together we do have multiple locations but four actually Actually here in Columbus, we have one in Pickerington and Gahanna and Reynoldsburg, and we have a new one in New Albany this year. Check us out um, on wittenfarm.com. Columbus Collision Center is Columbus's only female-owned body shop. Do you know what you can and can't do if your car is involved in a collision? I had a chance to talk with Ashley about the steps and some of the pitfalls you can encounter if your car has been involved in a collision. Tell us a little bit about the, a situation, if I have my car in an accident or it's in an accident, how do I know that at the end of the repair it's as good as before I got in the crash? Your car should always be returned to pre-crash condition. There should never be a squeak, a sound, um, a shimmy in your car that wasn't there before your crash. And if your car isn't returned to that condition, it hasn't been repaired properly. So let's talk a little bit about how I select a body shop. Does the insurance company tell me who I have to go to? They're not supposed to, by law, tell you where to send a car. That's called steering. Um, but they can highly suggest to you where to go, but you can always tell your insurance where you want to go. So let's talk about the appraisal. Mm -hmm. As I understand it today, most of the insurance companies have an appraiser that comes out and appraises the dollar amount of damage to your car. Is that correct? Since COVID, since the time of COVID, we don't see a lot of adjusters anymore. Most of it's all done virtually. Even at a body shop, we do a lot of the adjusting. We do a lot of the appraisal. We send it in virtually with pictures. A lot of the appraisers have not returned to the field. So, so what if there's a difference between what the appraised damage value is and, and what the actual value is? Um, we do what we call supplementing. And a lot of times, some cars will have to go through several supplements. Uh, that's where your mechanic shop or your dealership would come into play as well. They do a visual estimate in the beginning, which is a lot of the virtual work. And then the car will be torn down over steps. I think that's good information. I don't think a lot of people know that. No, they don't. No, no. and a lot of people don't get in crashes every day, so they don't understand how the process goes. Well, give us some contact information, Ashley, where we can find you on South High. Okay. It's uh, 2757 South High Street in Columbus, Ohio. And you can call us at 614. Four three five zero eight two five one. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's show and we took you to some businesses that you want to visit. If you missed any of today's show, you can always go to our website at onacolumbus.com and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Renee, what's coming up next week? Next week's show, we hit the road on two wheels. If you enjoy motorcycles, segways, great music, food, drinks, then this show is for you. So be sure to watch. Until next time, have a great week. Close captioning brought to you by Explore Hocking Hills. Spring is sprung and it's a great time to visit the Hocking Hills. For more information, go to explorehockinghills.com.